Well, today I have the pleasure of fishing with Kathy Roddick. Once again, always fun to go out with you. We're going to fish a lake in the interior of BC, actually in the Caribou region. Uh, warm weather, what are you thinking? Really warm weather. Yesterday yeah. was blowing a storm, yeah. rainy, cold. <laughs> Went down like to six degrees in June. Yeah, in June. In June. Cold. So there wasn't a frost, which was great. Yeah. Uh, but today, the skies have cleared, the wind's down, it's bright. Um, hopefully, we're going to get some good morning fishing in because yeah. by the end of the afternoon, the fish don't like it so much. Yeah, they can't buy they, sunglasses, right? You no, know, I know, but when they go deep, we can always find them maybe on you know, karate's or something, right? You never know. Absolutely. Yeah. Then we go after them deep, but yeah. in the morning, let's try and let's find some around shallow, and okay. then we'll migrate out deeper with the fish yeah. later in the day. <laughs> we'll cool. follow them. That's today as we take you sport fishing on the fish. Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First, Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy, rods and reels. I think we should drop here. I, I like what I'm seeing here. There's what are we in like 10 feet? Sounder, or? We're 12 feet. Okay, perfect. Let's, try it. Let's drop. Okay. You know, we we're just saying, you're well, you're my guide today, right? You were uh, saying, here's where we're gonna go. We're gonna approach it this way. We went off the point. Nothing. We had a couple fish move, and we you threw on caddis. I tried uh, I tried mayflies and everything, but I went back to one of my favorites, the red dancer, because it is a good searching pattern with leeches, and this guy hit it. We haven't seen a whole bunch though, eh, Kath? Like not a no. whole bunch yet. No, we've been watching and not seeing much. And this look little this. guy. Here yeah, he is but here. look at him. Yeah, but it's nice gorgeous. fish to start, you know? That's a good fish. It's awesome. And you know what I'll do? So I'll just try to unbutton him since he's not that small. But look at how, or not that big, but look at how fat they are. Jeez. Look at that. He's just a healthy, chunky fish. And let's pop him. There he goes. That's a great way, and here it is. So then we showed you on other shows, the Red Dancer. There it is there, you know, the Red Dancer. It's, it's just a great leech pattern. It's probably one of our favorite leech patterns. Some of our leech patterns imitate, you know, caddis. This one truly imitates a flashy leech, you know. There's, and there's, we've seen monster leeches in here, haven't we? Like huge leeches. We've seen them as big as fish. Like yeah. they're, they're like six <laughs> inches yeah, long. They're like this long, I know. Six inches, Kath, or six inches? Well, no, I, <laughs> it depends. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take. Okay. <laughs> well, we got one in there. Gorgeous. Perfect conditions. Nothing. Got one fish. Don got that. Nice little fish. We're moving. Can't find any more. Nothing on the sounder, nothing on the surface, nothing on the bottom. So we're going for a cruise. Let's we're gonna go, go for find a some fish. Let's check the other zone. Engage. Down we go. <laughs> Just ripping through the weeds. Whoa. So we had to, oh jeez, oh no. That's the problem when you're fishing in the weeds shallow. You get into trouble, but we got nice fish feeding on. There's caddis adults and they're taking the odd one, but really it's all about the baby damsel. I put on a baby damsel. They had to be taking them on top. I saw one wiggling, put on my, one of uh, Chan's baby damsels with the double bead that we sell on the site and bam, this guy hit it. Oh, and he said, he's got me in my weeds. Uh oh, he's got me in the weeds, uh -oh. cat. Uh oh, uh oh. I just got it. So when you get him in the weed, just give him slack. You got to give him slack like that, and hopefully they bring, take themselves out. Which that guy. You still got him? Yeah, I still got him, but. He's still got you, you in know, the weeds. I got to get him. I got to leave him loose. So what Let pound him. test do you have on there, Don? I got 12 pound test. On. 12 pound test. So there he goes. There he goes. So now look at all the weeds coming up with it. I gotta see if I can direct him out of there. Oh, he's got me in. 
He's got you He's again. He's got me in deep. I got to let him hold Don, again. what does this mean? It means I just have to give him a ton of slack and let him swim, which he is. I still on there, but oh, man. <laughs> What it means is it's bad, Cal. It's, it's bad. It's bad. Does this mean we have to lift anchor, Don? Ah, no. It's not worth it. No? No, I'll just try. If I can't pull him, oh, he's still on. Man. Oh, I might get him through. See, I gave him a little bit of slack, and I think I got him. You do? I did. I you got did. him. <laughs> I got him through there. So you give him a little slack, you sacrifice losing him, but you get him. Oh, look at awesome. that. Awesome. That's a nice little fish. Awesome. Look at how fat he is. No kidding. Look where he took Oh, the, that's a chunk, hey? Yeah, look where he took the damsel. He's not big, but just fat. Like fat and healthy. Beautiful fish. This gorgeous fish. Yeah, just nice. There he goes. Well. So, you know. Dawn, well done, considering he wrapped it around the weeds how many times? Yeah, but there's a, there's a good trick for people, right? If they do get you in those weeds, just give them slack. Give them a bunch of slack. You risk losing them, but they go swim around. Maybe they'll swim through it. That guy came back at me, which is fortunate. I was able to get him. But the more, Baby pressure, the more pressure you put on it, when it's tight like that, it'll just slice the weeds off exactly. or bust them off. It yeah, puts extra restress. Yeah. So I just give Good him a job. little time and he came back. Let's see the fly dog. Okay. Let's, let's show everybody let's that guy. It's flat calm today. And here he is there. Looks like all the, look at all the threads off because he took it through all the weeds. Oh no, that's just weed. But there it is there. The little, oh, look at my eyes are twisted. The you can't little, fish with twisted eyes. Though. I know, look at us all beat up. Dawn, I got one. Oh, oh, it's gone. <laughs> baby damsel, green, oh, baby soon damsel. Changed, eh? As soon as they changed, so they want the green. Yeah. So I had a caddis on there that was more gray. Yeah. Put the green on. That's pale olive or green? Pa pale green olive, kind of? Kind of, more green than olive. <laughs> more green than olive. More green than olive. Well, we could be on to him for a bit here. Well, we'll see. Shape, size, color. Right? Nice. Shape, size, color. Let's do it again. Him. You just lost him in here. It was short-lived, but it was nice. So what are you using? Good. Just talk a little bit about how you're doing it. So I'm using this baby damsel. It's got a little gold bead on it. I'm using an intermediate line that sinks mm, maybe two feet down, and then that's it. So it's a nice parallel retrieve, just like damsels. So an intermediate, like is that a type yeah. two or three, or what would you like call it? Like a type that? one. Oh, type one, also yeah, just type real one, slow. So real, but it, it doesn't sink on an angle, it's yeah. like a parallel sink, nice and, and that's what damsels do. Like they come up and then they flatten out, and wiggle one to two feet underneath yeah. the surface. So. And just hang there. And they just hang there, and they wiggle along, and the fish <laughs> silhouette them and come up and they hit come them. Up, so them. I don't want to go deep with them, so I'm just casting it out to the edge, and stripping it back. Yeah, and you can see we're shallow. Like we're what, shallow. What are we in? We're, we're only... We're 10 feet. Yeah, 10 feet. You can see the Super bottom there, water. the weeds, and we're yeah. fishing right in the weeds. A little guy! And I just snapped off a big one. Kath changed over, you changed yours over, and you just, you just lost a big one. So, but nice to see, you know, a variety of sizes here. You know, potential we'll get them up to eight pounds. Average fish in here a lot of times four to five pounds. And I got the little guy. But you know, they're on that damsel, which is nice to see. I love damsel fishing. It's great. You yeah. just got to be in the right place. Just the right place, the right time. Just. Exactly. Well, they're moving. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, and there's our, again, you know, what, what we call, where is it? Chan's baby damsel. And it's a great little pounder. It's just small. You know, like we saw the ones we showed you are quite big, right? They were quite big, but these, we saw a lot of little babies wiggling on top. And sometimes they want smaller food items. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll go with that big one after and see if I can get the big boy. But I just broke off 11.8 11, 11 pound test in here. Tragic. It's always the big one, right? No, <laughs> it's always the big one. <laughs> oh, Kath, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what did oh, you yeah. put on? Green. <laughs> green. <laughs> Looks like a damsel. Green, dazzle. green, <laughs> green. We're into them. Yeah. You know, and you got to move, right? We're in that spot. We got a couple, and then nothing. Yeah, but see, the damsels are hatching. Yeah. And damsels love to. Uh oh. All right, got to pay attention here. <laughs> Dam damsels love to climb up on the reeds. So we were over there. There was lily pads. Yeah. I started Watch thinking bank. about Watch it. Watch the back anchor rope. Watch the back anchor rope. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, okay, come on, buddy. Try to talk and fish at the same time. It's tough, isn't up. it? Oh no, now what? Let's. Uh, okay, we're fishing under the boat now. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. He's not, not on the anchor rope. He may jump on that side. Yep. He's over there. Over there. I got him right. I see your line over here. Well, I see the line here. Yeah, I see your indicator. Perfect. On this side. Watch the front anchor rope. Was he around the front? He's right here. Okay. I could probably run him on this side. Oh, no, now he's coming. Nope, now you got him. Okay, yeah. I got him. You got no, him. Nope, 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 nope. Good job. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, nice fish. Okay. So as you were saying. As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted. Yeah. <laughs> so they like to climb up vertically. You know, there was lily pads over there. There was still damsels, but they like those reeds. Yeah. And they like to climb up and they just glom on. I'm sure everybody's seen them. Yeah, it made dry. all the difference. Yeah. Like we came over here, bam, 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 yeah. ready to fish. Nice, you're gonna have to show but everybody I put on, I put on my, well, I don't know if I can. You don't know if you can. I can't know if I can. You gotta show people the fly cap. I suppose. Part of the gig. Oh, bring them over here. Yeah, bring them over this side. Put them back in the water. Now, you think we should do a throw sample to see her? Well, you know, we know they're I on damsels. I think they're on damsels. Yeah. I don't like pumping them unless I have okay. to. Well, that's not so then. I, I don't, I don't I, need uh, I mean, you've had two, you yeah. had that break off. Yeah. I've lost one and got another one. So I think we've kind of we got an idea. Okay. See, look, right, well, there's a caddis on our fish finder. So, well. You got it right Ooh, in the top lip. marked it. Yeah. Right on the top lip, eh? And that, it's barbless, too. It's right in the I know. It's a tough part. Come on. Turn them upside down. This slides out. There it is. Yeah. Nice That's size fish. Oh, yeah. Got a gorgeous couple of fish. gorgeous. Yeah, look at that. Nice and healthy. Yeah, just a few spots on his back there. Beautiful panasque. Yeah. Gorgeous. Come on. Go. The little guy. We're going to get some big ones yeah, coming up. Guaranteed. I guess i got to come clean with you got to come clean. So, <laughs> I use it on this on the lakes by Stump Lake a lot. It's pretty bright and sparkly, you know, it's away from like the, the dull natural, but for some reason, it just gets their attention. Oh yeah, it looks like that big one we showed. Yeah, right? I see it's, I, I don't know why. I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot more bling than you'd normally see on a damsel. Yeah, well, that's but, a nice attractor. But it's a nice attractor yeah. and it's really bright sunny day. Should I put it on? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> but it worked. So sometimes the voice of reason is you don't need it. Just okay. put it on because you like it. And I like it. There's where we're fishing. So we're yep. just fishing right up against these reeds, right where the damsels go. And got a nice wind drift right into those reeds. Oh, gee. Well, you know what? We got the flies figured out. Every time I cast this baby down, I'm getting a wax in this. And you know, nice fish. The big guys haven't started cruising yet, but these things are tough fighting fish. Oh. Uh oh, <laughs> oh, little guy. But that's okay. That's all right. You that's know what? Okay. We got to figure it out. We're on the damsels. We've got the nice pale olive. I'd call that, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Pale, pale olive watery color. olive. Cool. Well, let's keep it going. Big guys are gonna move. Sport fishing on the fly is brought to you by Maui Jim sunglasses. First, Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy rods and reels. Oh, he's going home. He wants to back in those reeds. Shiza. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come out with me, puppy. Don't you? Oh, mean... look at your eye. Oh man, is he going in the reeds? No. Oh, you got him out of there. Good job. He, he was thinking about it. Oh, he's a nice size. Looks like a good one. Yeah, man. Maybe the big boys to... are starting to move now. Now we're having to drop these. Yeah. Dams was like a foot <laughs> from the edge. A foot, not right. two feet, not a foot. So these bugs, these fish are all swimming and out, picking these off. And it's funny, if that's where exactly where they're eating. Yeah. Just right as they're coming on the up edge. onto those reeds. It's like they come out of the weeds and then yeah. they're like, nope, going back in. That's where the food is. <laughs> so when I've got the type three with the baby dams, well, you've got your hanging. I'm hanging with a floating line. I'm sitting, we're sitting in eight feet of water. It's eight feet there, and I'm hanging three, four feet. That's it. Yeah. No, no extra weight, no nothing. Just letting it. Because damsels come up near the top. Yep. As they come to the reeds. Yep. That's a beauty. This looks like a nice fish. 
Yeah, yeah a little more healthy. Nice. Yeah, oh yeah, better better hits and everything. Come on, wake up. <laughs> Get out of the weeds. Oh, that's a nice one, Kath. Man, you can see them with oh, their head yeah, down in there, burying, you know, trying to shake it off. <laughs> He's not happy down there. Oh, this is a nice fish. This well, looks like in that four or five pound range. Oh, don't say that out loud. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's like, get the camera out. I've got a nice fish on. Think every time. <laughs> yeah, every, that's right. every time. You don't say the, the camera word. <laughs> oh, man, look at yeah, that. Yeah, you're used to the camera work you did years ago. Yeah. With Don Wells and yeah. Yeah, Gilligan's Island and Gilligan, that. That yeah. was cool. What was that show called? It was called Real Adventures. Real like Adventures. Fishing Real, Real that's Adventures. Cool. Yeah, we had some pretty spectacular fishing. Yeah, that's pretty neat. And now we're just a couple years older, Kath. We're, we're just, just, a wee just a wee bit older. Bit older. <laughs> There's a couple of leap years in there back to back. And we started about the same time. Actually, you Actually, started before we did. us. I did. Yeah. And it was just through conversation we realized, well, well what do you mean you're filming a show? And, well, what do you mean you're filming a show? And we yeah. had a couple oh, of good laps. Nice. This is a good oh, fish. It is so a good fish. You can see my rod. Got a nice, oh, good quality rod. And there. it's six weight, nine foot. Holy oh. smokes. Yeah, that's a toad. <laughs> Holy smokes. He's big, Kath. Like, he couldn't, okay, yeah. I just started to Sorry, sweat. he's big. I just started to sweat a little bit. Like, <laughs> thinking, why is it taking so long to come up? And I'm like, holy smokes. You know, smokes. the unfortunate <laughs> part is you might have to net him yourself. I could try. Oh. I could, no, I could try. Holy. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'd like to say other things, but we're on film, so. Yeah, that's a dandy. And he's got his head down. Oh, he is. He's just sulking down oh, there. Come on, puppy. But look at this. Oh, oh don't nah. freak out on me. Oh, no, he's tied. Well, he took a screaming run. Yeah. Right, a couple of them. I did not think it was this big. I, I thought it was him. like I a pounder. He, did you? Oh, no, I saw him when you, when he went, came up near the top. I, I didn't want to freak you out at the beginning. But well, he you was, would have. Yeah, because I yeah. all pretend like they're a he pound, and I don't get nervous about losing it. The L word. Oh, yeah. No, he's a dandy. Oh, come on, yeah. baby. Now he's getting look. tired. Wait till you see him, too. He's beautifully oh. healthy, like fat, yeah. healthy fish. Nice fish. Oh, Don't yeah. do it. Don't do it. You come here. No, you got come him on. Dead. You got him hot. Come on. Here. I don't want to hit the uh, nope. leader. Nope. Okay, here he comes. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. That's, <laughs> thank you, Don. Yeah. <laughs> like, he almost didn't fit in. <laughs> that is Holy a beauty. smokes. <laughs> on it. Oh, it is. It's big, gorgeous. Big little damsel. Yeah. Little damsel. That's Holy hot. smokes. <laughs> Oh, these smokes. Look how fat he is. Oh, gorgeous. Okay, that's gorgeous. Fish. Get this fly out. And that's why you got to have different techniques too, right? If we're both typing, uh, casting type threes or intermediate sink, it's not the same. Well, right? it was interesting because we were over in some lily pads earlier. Wow. This is barbarous. Yeah. Look at the head on this puppy. You get him in that gristle in there, tough. No barb. I never use a puppy. No, no, we're barbless only. There, you got it. Save we showed the you the fly. We'll show you the fly. Oh, we smokes. showed you the sparkle fly, but hold on. <laughs> okay, I'm getting down low because yeah. um, I'm thinking he's going to wake up when I take him out of the water. Okay, well, you know what? We're rolling, so you're good. All right. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's the good net. Luck. He's as long in the net. So how long is the net? 24 inches? I don't I know. we got to measure that yeah, later. I think they're 23 to 24, but look at how thick he is. Like, that's that's a solid 5 to 6. We may have to reach that is solid. I really solid. can't pick him up. Like, isn't that pitiful? Yeah. Oh. Okay. There. Oh, ah. okay. <laughs> okay, he won. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I really tried. Yeah, I but you never, lift him you never up. want to grab the fish, and when they're that big, you can't. That was a solid. I six, can't. If not so. More. All right. Yeah. Yeah, because it was longer than that, and it was oh yeah plus. So it was big yeah. fish. Way to go, Kath. Oh, well, that was fun. Give me nooks. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And again, here's my bobber. Yeah. Here's my bobber. One, <laughs> two, three, and a half, maybe four. Yeah, that's all you're running. Look at that. That little leech, hey, it's a, or the little damsel. It's a killer. But look you at it. You know what? Look at Kath? it in the water. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go to the bench and we're going to tie that right yeah. now. Today on the bench, I want to tell you what my personal favorite damsel fly nymph it is malcolm's damsel this is by far the best damsel nymph i've ever used make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly for the hook we we'll use a size 16 2 x long curved some 8 dot olive thread to tie with a 764th inch gold bead is the bead 
some moss green flash blue for the tail, some olive crystal flash for the tail highlight, some small green holographic tinsel for the body, a small olive or dark olive saddle for the hackle, and some fine copper wire for the rib. So to start the fly off, I've put the bead onto the hook, moved it up front, and we'll just put on a base layer of thread just to get it started. And cut off your excess. And you know, the first move is to put on our tail. So I've taken my moss green marabou and I'm just going to move it down a little bit, probably halfway the hook just to establish some, some thread on the tail. Now I'm just going to pull off, it depends, I like a smaller tail, I'm just going to only pull off, you know, 10 of these fibers and just pull them all back. And I like a smaller tail, so about as long again as your hook shank and just tie it in. And pretty standard for a tail, I always like to go around the back of the tail and then wrap up front. And these fibers you can snip and get rid of your excess. And just wrap over anything left over the body, that's all going to be wrapped in regardless. So not to worry. So now you got your tail tied in. Now take, uh, you can have one or two crystal flash. What I'll do is I'll actually take one piece of crystal flash, wrap it over together once, just cut it. So then I've got two pieces. Bring those two pieces up over your thread and then wrap it in evenly on the tail. On both sides, then you'll have like two, two highlights on one side and two on the other. And then cut them the length of the tail. Now that we have the tail tied in, I'm going to take some of my holographic green tinsel. We're just going to tie it in just back by the eyelet and move it all the way back. And this is going to be tied up for the body a little bit later. Finish off at the tail and just put that away. Move your thread back up towards the bead. And then we're going to tie in our copper wire for the rib. Now take a piece of your copper wire and just tie it in again near the bead and just wrap it up to the body. This will be this will be tied up a little later to form the rib. Now we're going to move our thread back towards the bead and we're going to tie up our body. So pull up that pull up that holographic tinsel you had and just start wrapping forward to form the body on the fly all the way up nice and evenly until you get to the bead. And then tie off behind the bead. And cut off your excess. Now to make this fly a little more durable, you can take some UV coating or, uh, you know, uh, got Loctite or some kind of head cement. Just coat the body. Just put one dab on there. And just take a, take a bodkin, move it around so that you can, you know, get that coating all the way. And this will help when you wrap in the hackle. It'll help uh, the hackle last longer on the fly. So I just coat that body up first. So now that I've got some cement on there, we're going to take a hackle, nice fine hackle. This is a size 18 saddle. And we're going to tie it up near the head, wrap it in good, and then palmer it back. Take a couple of wraps by the head, and then I like to palmer it back and take about four to five wraps back until I get to the tail. Then once I'm at the tail, I'm going to take that wire and I'm going to pull this wire over the hackle just to tie it in. And then wind your copper wire up, 
to form the rib on the fly. And this will help maintain the hackle so it doesn't fall apart. And right up to behind the bead. And then tie off right at the bead. And again, just 360. We'll get rid of your wire. And then what I like to do is you can do the same with your hackle or you can give it a quick snip just to get rid of your extra. And then you have a nice fluid body. To finish the fly off, I would like to keep the hackle on the front just slightly pointed back. So all I'm going to do, again, whip finish a couple times and that'll help flare that front hackle back just slightly. A few more wraps. And that pretty well does it. And if you want to head cement, you can, but I prefer not to. Cut your thread off. So there it is, Malcolm's Danzel. Now it is now my personal favorite. I used to love Brian's Baby Danzel, still one of my favorites, but this fly has been so effective over the past two years for us, it's now my favorite. So make sure you have some in your fly box. They are worth having. Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy, rods and reels. Man, they're in here feeding. I just, I just got my uh, tangle undone. Cast again, and this guy hit. And I don't. And I moved the tripod because Kathy scolded me for having the tripod there. Ooh. This one's a good Ooh. one too. Man. Yeah, that they're looks just, good on. Have we ever found them or what? We're dialed into the pattern. We're just. Uh, we're and, on in, it. and interestingly enough, we're looking at other anglers, and they're coming in and leaving, and coming in and leaving, and nobody's really getting fish. And, Don and I just did some homework and we're in this, <laughs> just a sweet spot. Oh, Look geez. at that. I don't like Look when it's shaking shake. like that. Ooh, that's not good, Don. It's not good. <laughs> don't say that. That's not good. And there's another big fish. I mean, it's very good, but it's. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go, two different size damsels. So you've got a bigger sparkly damsel and I've got the baby damsel. But you know, the key, like you said, is that olive color. I'm looking, oh no. <laughs> a big fish. Look where he's going towards those dances. He's going or towards the. Oh, no, oh, not the lily pads. The lily pads. No. The dreaded lily pads. Don't. Come I, on, Don. Well, I'm trying Put to some keep heat this on. Head not this too way. much heat. No, I know I got heat on him right now, but oh, here he comes. Okay, here you go. Oh, Kath, he's another dandy. Oh, I've already, oh, I've already yeah. lost two of these. I snapped one off. Kath got one in. There oh. he is. There. What a pig. Oh, just another beautiful fish. Holy smoke. Okay, and, I'll go back to you. Here and we go. again, we're using we're using 12 pound test. Imagine I'm using a 12 pound <laughs> test on a tiny little damsel, but you have to. Because when you're fishing the reeds and you're fishing the lily pads in the shells, if you don't have stout leader for big fish, they're just gonna rip you. They're just gonna tear you apart. And I already broke a big guy off. <sighs> These fish are they're strong. You need okay. a break, Don? Are you okay? <sighs> Look at that rod. Look at that rod there. Oh I know. Look at that. And you know, we got the, the water's nice, nice and clear. I've can. got the nice hardy Zephyrus rod here and reel. And you know, I've got my 7X loops too. You know, my, I really like my 7X loops for the, the, the stiffer stuff, like the full sinks and things like that. You know, 10 footers when I'm casting indicators. But for this type three, I usually go a little bit lighter, like this five weight. And it is over. You're fishing a five weight? I am. Oh, Ted would have your butt. I know, I know he I would. All these people here. No, 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 no. I left my five weights at home. <laughs> I know. I should look at the I don't want to hear it. This is You're like, good. Yeah, now look like what's going to happen. Gas. I know. Oh, Kabang. Man. I know. No, these hardies are tough to bust, but look at how fat he is. He's like yours. He's just, oh, no, don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. No, don't don't, go, don't there. go around the anchor rope. No, don't oh, go no, there. no, no, no. Do you want no. me to lift my anchor rope? No, no. no. You got him? I got him. Whoa. <laughs> okay. I should be off. a little bit out of focus there because. That's right. Come on, Don, get him. Oh, no. I got him. come on. Have you got him? Is he in the net? Oh, sweet. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I'll take him on this side. Take him on this side where there's less car carnage. Oh, oh, my. Wow. There, oh, look at He just, he just. Did it come out? Yep, he just <gasps> bit it. Look, so at how fish, look how tiny, tiny that little, little fly. fly. That little Chan baby damsel that catches huge fish. As you can see, so look at this guy. Move that rod out of the way. I'll hold him up for everybody. Yeah, see if you can hold him up, unlike me that dropped oh, it. Oh, yeah, here he is here. Oh, 
and again this is a you know he's about 25 inches plus We're nice and healthy look at that isn't that a gorgeous fish keep the head in the water and let him go there he goes <laughs> I think. <laughs> kill Standing. Him. Kill one of them. That was two casts, two fish. Two casts, two fish. Yeah. Holy. Oh, so he smoked that. I thought, oh, just randomly, you know, throw it out deeper, right? Son, you got that really nice one out there. I've been fishing tight to the reeds. Getting Calf, hotter in the day. It's all about damsels. It's all about damsels. <laughs> it's getting hotter today. I put my goofy hat on because it's so hot. But you know, it's so cool when you can have a day like this fishing damsels and catching all sorts of fish, like tons of fish. Well, we're looking around the lake and we're not seeing the net out very many places, no. are we, Don? No, it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm actually so nervous with this. I'm going to rid of some of this. this. <laughs> oh, now i got a knot in my line. That's great. Oh, he's down there. Uh -oh. He's down there muscling. Uh oh, what'd you do? Oh, no, you got a knot, knot? In my line. Well, it's just going to have to live See, there. Even okay. the best get knots. Even the pros of pros. Look at her working. Did you get it out? No. <laughs> I could wrap well, around my tongue and I could have an issue. No, that's there we talent. Go. Look at that. That's that talent. is talent. You got it out. I did. You got that tangle out. You got it's the fish advisable. back on the reel. You're a machine cat. Especially on a bigger fish. It's not <laughs> maybe the smartest. Well, that's nice. Thing this is do. a. A nice fish. Nice. You know, this nice is kind fish. of our average size. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. we've been getting lots of that Not we one filmed of those, a few, but I mean, hogs it's, we've been, got. it's been steady, this just is, steady. This action. is crazy. Yeah. Like we, but we worked for it. Like yeah. it was how many hours this morning? Yeah. We worked a couple hours with nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. Because we thought they were on caddis to start. Yeah. Remember, we said caddis would work. Caddis. Caddis. Look at the caddis. Yeah. There's caddis popping. Then I pulled up my anchor rope. I said, Dawn. Yeah. Yeah. Damsels. <laughs> Why is there damsels on the anchor rope? Why is you should put a damsel fly on. Why are there damsels wiggling in the water? Uh. And that, that's the whole thing. It can be like right in front of your face. You just have to know what to look for. Yeah, you got to be aware, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you do. You really yeah. have to be aware. Watch for those Watch for those damsels moving on the top. They become quite evident. And the best way is to go right in the weeds, right? Just well, go right where in are the we? weeds. Like we're probably 50 feet. On either side oh, of this, yeah. they've got lily pads on one side in deeper water, and got the uh, the reeds, the tulies that they like to climb up on on the other side. Yeah, it's a All good right. spot. Oh, but it's a great it's spot. Ten feet deep, good eight feet. You know, me and the bulldog did a show yep. here last year, Come and on. this was our spot. You know, this is one of our favorites. Oh yeah, for sure. it's right on the edge of the. Yeah. Here's somebody else leaving. Yeah, I'm not seeing the net out a lot. Now no. this guy isn't near the size of the couple of big hogs we got earlier and you oh, think I no. can get him in? But they, yeah I know but they're tough even that size fish is there tough. We go. You know those 16 inches that we've caught have been pretty steady. Oh. And you know the beauty is we haven't had to throw a sample any fish today because you know once we got them on the downsel they're being just steady well, action. Well you can throw sample them but if you you've kind of got it figured out, like why? Yeah. I, I don't I don't do it unless I. Uh, yeah, have unless to, you right? really have to. And make sure the fish is of a certain size too before you do do it. And these fish. fish are all taking it right in the same spot. Upper lip yeah. just pops upper out. Upper lip, yeah. Just a nice fish. And you know we haven't changed <laughs> flies. I'm still on the baby damsel, and you're still on your favorite Malcolm fly. Uh, Malcolm's damsel. Malcolm's was, damsel. Malcolm's it's a killer. Damsel. It was just a. Um, well, we already showed you guys what it was, but it's got a bit of sparkle to it. And often days it's really bright. I don't use, I don't use the sparkle. I tend to want to go something a bit duller, but yeah. I thought, what the heck? We're not getting anything, and maybe, yeah. maybe they just have to see it. Well, but well guess what? It's it worked. Worked. <laughs> But you know what? I'm going to have to put my glasses on and retie it because... Oh, it's getting beat up. I don't trust it. No, I know. You can't. You this can't is, risk it this on these is, big fish thin but it's 10 pounds right on and i'm still i'm still nervous because if <laughs> he hunted until it would, just, it would have been just like a well, machete through there there we go that's where we're fishing and that's what we're worried about those lily pads out there they rip you into that you're done how come you don't have your goofy hat on <laughs> i need to put my goofy hat back on <laughs> your goofy hat was good the goofy hat's good another for one, the sun Kat. another one it's not like that we've banged a few well, oh, oh 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 I got way too much line out here. 
<laughs> and he's heading to the lily pads. Don't do it, buddy. Wow, that, uh, that damsel pattern is a killer, eh? Oh, I'm just letting it sit out there, yeah. right? Letting it sink, and I dropped it down a foot. It was, I was hanging for. It's getting hotter, sun's yeah. getting higher. Uh, watch oh. your rod, Don. Oh. oh, come on, get away from that anchor. Oh, no! No, he's, oh, he oh. just got off, and there he is. Oh, look at, look at the other, look at the size of that one. Oh, don't, don't. Look at that. Look he, at the size of that fish. He thing. wrapped around the anchor, and that was it. It just popped out. Two of them. No, Two of them? Your, yours Are is there. Are they still here? Yeah, yours is there. This other one went this way. Like, yours is still there, and the other guy went that way. I looked down. I thought I didn't think it was that big. There. He there's... just caught, it was just enough stress, and it just, yeah. poked. There, that's okay. They're still cruising here. I still have my fly. That's all that matters. <laughs> They're still cruising here. They're still cruising. Holy cow. Nice one, cow. Is it? Yeah. You know, he's, there, he's kind of the average size we've been getting today, which is a solid fish. It's, but they're, they're thick. They got, they got some spunk. <laughs> some spunk girth. They they're, starting, they're starting to move out. Malcolm's Danzel is yep. a winner. Yep. You know, I thought the baby damsel was good, and that was just on fire. Go, go figure. I, I yeah. really don't. It's just the, it's just the right color, just it's enough of a perfect a, a little uh, color to it. To yeah, and not, you know what? Not a big fish, but he is just tough. Well, look, he's just ripping it around. Yeah. And look at the conditions. We got bright sunlight. You would never think to go in here and fish damsels, but we saw him. In eight feet. Yeah, got it dialed in, and fish are cruising. Now he's maybe a year old, yeah. two years old, well, he's but he's got spunk. Oh, he's bigger than I thought. He's nice. Come on, in the net. Yeah. Just to put things in perspective, we've got a couple of nice fish today. And they were as long as his net. Bigger than the net. And here's, here's an average net. fish, beautiful fish. I'm not dissing him at all. No. Right in the corner <laughs> in the mouth. Look at that, right there. Yeah. Look at that. Nice little fish. See, you can hold that one, Cal. Yeah, see if I can <laughs> hold this one. Beautiful. There he goes. Nice. Sweet. I'll take it. I guess. I'll take it. That's fantastic. Oh, ho, ho. how's about that? What a day. What a day. So, what did you think about damsels today? That was it. It was all about damsels. We had to figure it out a wee bit. Yeah. But then, man, we picked up a damsel. I said, Don, look at the damsel. There's another damsel. <laughs> yeah. Who? Yeah, we Let's should fish use damsels. damsels. <laughs> and then we just started banging them. But what a great day. Phenomenal fishery. Again, I want to thank. Oh, Ted and Linda, for, uh, yeah. Teddy Wood, for Teddy fantastic Wood. hosting. Yeah. And it's, uh, it, was, it was great. And the Wonderful. decadent food. And the fantastic. decadent food. And, and Chimo RV for, you Ooh, know, bringing us yeah. out. They also give us these trailers. It's just been fantastic. It has. Well, when you come out here, take care, conserve our waters, and we'll see you next time we take you sport fishing on the fly.